And you're okay with the tile in the master bathroom, right? It's paler than I thought. Well, then we'll rip it out. No. No. No, I'd rather deal with paler for the next 20 years than this house not to be done on time. Hey, can we go visit my Yes, we can. Oh, I'm well, ready. Hold on, not so fast. I, 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 I can't let your mother go because we have a lot of work Jax. to do still. No, no, no. How would you like to go over to the quarter mains in the hotel limo, huh? Can I have a soda and watch a movie? Of course you can. I also think that it has a video gaming system in it now, so you can bring awesome. on the way over there. Think you can find your way back down to the front desk? I've only done it like 50 million times. All right, go, go, go. Marty, it's Jax. Could you get the hotel limo ready? Uh, Morgan's going to go over to the quartermates. He's on his way down. Thanks. That was smooth. Yes, and we're just talking about giving it Michael space. Right? I know, but I was thinking how teenagers have a short attention span, and Michael probably doesn't even remember that I was there this morning. Oh, that's a stretch. That, that, that is a stretch, even for you. I'm having such a hard time with this. I am. I, Michael and I were so close, and now we don't get along. We're not connecting. And the Quartermains, you know, I know the Quartermains are mm -hmm. driving him crazy, and he probably yes. wants to talk to me and tell me how okay. he's feeling. Carly? So I should go over there so he could you do You're going to have to trust me. You think you can do that? Thanks, Grandpa. Man, he's pretty intense. Oh, oh well, I'm, I'm glad you liked your physical therapist, huh? Yeah, Dan said he can come every day. He's pretty expensive, but... Don't worry about the cost. I'm very happy to pay for it. Did, did you call about the car? Mm-hmm. It's all taken care of. Oh. Hey. Uh, are, are you all right, son? Monica! Monica, come here immediately. Don't you move. You just sit there. Monica! What's the matter? Oh, that damn therapist pushed Michael too hard. What therapist? The one I hired to supervise Michael's oh, training. Oh, Edward, you fool. Well, I was only trying to help. Help like that is going to put him right back in the hospital. Hmm, yeah. thank you. Something. Mm. Wish I could teach you to water in this. Weekend at a bed and breakfast on the lake, just the two of us. No Sonny and Claudia barging in whenever they want. You can leave tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. But I gotta take a pass. Mm -hmm. Too much too soon. No, 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 no. No, it's just I promised on pain of death that I would uh, go to Bensonhurst this weekend and have lunch with my son at my parents' house. Hmm. Well, I miss you. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like you'll have fun. Yeah. I gotta admit. Get togethers with my family are really something. It's like classic old school Italian, you know, the big yeah. meal in the middle of the day. And when I say big, I mean like Roman Emperor's feast. It's a mm -hmm. wonder we're not all 400 pounds. <laughs> Cousin Violet is pushing it. Are they all as outgoing as you mm -hmm. are? <laughs> outgoing? That's a nice euphemism. Um, yeah, it's pretty much wall-to-wall um, -wall type A personalities. You would have a blast. <laughs> Which is, um, that's probably my cue to invite you along. No, 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 I get it. I don't understand why you can't. We need to discuss what happened here. Sure. Would you mind turning that off and looking at me, please? I understand how hurt you are and how disappointed you are in me and you have every reason to be. But you shouldn't have shown Molly that blog because she's too young to understand the hateful things that they said about me. You're her older sister. You need to protect her no matter how angry you are at me. No scandal blogs for Molly. Got it. Can I go now? No. Sit. <sighs> what is wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? What happened to the thoughtful, compassionate, mature daughter that I could always count on? Maybe she changed when she found out her mom slept with a married man. <sighs> I 
was convinced that the mayor killed Brownie Hughes, but it just seemed so neat, you know, so tied up in a little bow. I'm afraid that I've missed something. Go back to the beginning. Okay, well, the beginning for me was when Patrick and I were called to the Metro Court hotel room. Brianna was there, she was unconscious, and Mayor Floyd was frantic. He said that they'd been taking a shower together and she hit her head once, not twice, like the autopsy showed. Do you believe him? It's certainly possible he didn't know about it. He did leave the hotel room and then come back, which would leave room for somebody else to have hit her over the head. Keep going. What does your instinct tell you? If he was telling the truth about what happened to Brianna, then maybe he's also telling the truth about the fact that he planned to marry her, which would mean the person with the most to lose is the mayor's... Just the person I was looking for. I wanted to thank you again for all your help. How exactly have I helped you? 